Hey and welcome back to Gun City. I'm Ferg, this is Caleb, and this is a Tika T1X MTR. Now, we're refilming this video, not because the old one was bad, but because Caleb has used one of these, he's owned one of these, and he got some great groupings out of it, and we want to let you know what it's like to be able to shoot this little rifle. It's extremely popular, it's loaded with great features, it's a bolt action rimfire, and 22 LR, and 17 HMR, so let's get straight into it. How did you find it? Yeah, so this is, this is a great new rifle. I was intrigued with this because everyone that bought one came back to us raving about how good they were. Yeah, exactly. Um, so they're just packed with features. This is a great workhorse rifle that's very accurate. What, what features drew you to it? So the, the main point about this one is the medium profile barrel. So yeah. it's the benefits of a heavy barrel, but it's yeah. nice and light. So you can use it as a hunting rifle and that's what it's marketed for. That's it. They call it their crossover barrel, which is nice. Like what, what, what kind of accuracy did you get out of this barrel? Uh, so you're going to get CZ equivalent accuracy or Anschutz equivalent accuracy. I found it um, not, not too picky with ammo um, yeah. and a lot of it groups really well. In fact, Tika have a 50 um, metre MOA accuracy guarantee. That's awesome. And I've heard of people talking about going out with the right ammo and getting, you know, thumbnail yep. with this. You know, most people's thumbnails are smaller than MOA. <laughs> uh, and you've said you went out and you had a CZ 455 as well. They're renowned for shooting accurately, yep. what kind of results did you get? Like, I, I thought I remember you coming in and being like, man, this, this is what I got out of the T1X. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm putting them on the spot now. <laughs> I, I love this as much as I love my CZ, maybe more. Um, I think it had, had more features, including the modular stock system. Yeah. Um, it's just a very comfortable and light rifle. Yeah. Not that the CZ isn't, but you're going to get equivalent accuracy, if not better, maybe. So okay. what accuracy did you get? I'm sure you shot it at 50 meters and you told me all about it. Um, it, it Personally, my one likes CCI. I got yes. I got thumb hole groups um, with my thumb nail. Yeah, <laughs> at 50. Yeah, 50. Yep. Like that's phenomenal. It's awesome to be able to have a rifle that you can essentially take to the bank that's going to go out there with the right ammo and shoot a group like that. Eh? That's right. And yeah. the great thing about this, it does help. Um, adjustable trigger. It's from two to four pounds. Yeah. And um, yeah, ten shot mag. Uh, yeah, it's just. Hey, and, and like, what's not to like about a 10 shot mag and a rimfire? Right. You know, some of these high capacity magazines can be prone to jamming, yep. uh, you know, when the pressure's on. How did you feel this one was for cycling? Uh, very smooth, very smooth. And, yeah. you know, you can just use a figure, it just drops the magazine right out. You don't have to use two hands. Oh, uh, yeah. So, really nice and chill. All right, well, system. I'm just going to try and use a figure. Oh, look, pops there it right goes. out. Just, just pops right out. That's it. Cool. So, made by Sarko. You got that Sarko trigger on there, awesome barrel. They come threaded. In uh, 22 LR, they come in a variety of barrel lengths. Can you remember what they are off the top of your head? I believe it is the 16 and 20 inch. Yeah, I yep. think it's something like 16 and 20. And then you got the 17 HMR. Now, there's a T1X UPR, which has got a more advanced stock around it. Yep. Would you ever be tempted to use one of those? Yeah, so it's particularly good if you're towards more of a bench rest shooter. Mm. I would go for the UPR. Um, yeah. If you want something a bit of, bit of multi use, um, go for the T1X MTR. That's it. Cool. So, Caleb recommends it, loves how well it shoots. Now we're going to show you some sweet footage of Caleb shouldering it. 